Snail Boy by Leslie McGuirk. This is Snail. He is gigantic, exotic gastropod in full bloom. He is in fact a, as big as this pony. Snail is extremely rare, so he hides most of the day. He's afraid the wrong kind of person, like a snail hunter, will catch him. So, this little lady is on a little roller skate car and it says, Just say no to snails. Our services are honest and fatal. Owned and operated by the Slimy family. You've got snails. Call 1-800-S-CAR-GO. So, 1.17 a.m. They might put me in the circus. 3.02 a.m. What if I end up in the zoo? He's in a zoo cage. 5.48 a.m. Or on a menu in a French restaurant. Help! So here he is and he's dreaming all of these things while he's dreaming. At night, he sleeps in his secret hiding place and has bad dreams. One morning, Snail woke up and had a life-saving idea. I'll find myself an owner, he thought. He needed to find just the right owner. So here's all his thoughts about an owner. I can't get dirty. Too neat, that little girl will be. I don't think so. That guy will be too cool. Snaily, schmaily, paley, maily. Too goofy, that guy will be. Can I touch you and hug you? Can I, can I? And she'll be too grabby. So those were possible candidates for a snail ownership. He began his search at the local park. He climbed a giant tree and looked down at his prospects. There was one boy, a boy with a red cap, who was playing all by himself. I'll ask him, said Snail, because he's alone, like me. Snail crawled back down to the ground. He waited inside his shell. When the boy ran past, Snail popped out and said, Do you have the time? Before Snail could finish his question, the boy screamed, Yikes! You scared me, said the boy. You're as big as a pony. Yes, said Snail, but I'm better looking and much more interesting. Do you have time to take care of a pet like me? The boy laughed. Are you kidding? You're just a giant slowpoke. If you were a cheetah, I might be interested. Cheetah Shmita, pooed pooed Snail. Those fast pets just leave you in the dust. I won't leave you in the dust or any place else. Plus, you never need to groom me. So here he is with a cheetah and he's buried in a pile of sand and says, help. And here he is with, I think, an antelope and says, slow down. And here he is with a tiger and he says, this is a lot of work. Can you do tricks? asked the boy. Of course, watch me, said Snail. Snail shook his whole body. What was that? asked the boy. Shake, answered the snail with pride. The boy laughed. Now watch this, said Snail, and he showed the boy the rest of his tricks. Roll over. So there he is, rolling. Play dead. And there he is, with his head down, playing dead. I think talking is my best trick of all, though, don't you? Snail asked. Definitely, said the boy. Too bad I'm still not really looking for a pet. Oh, well, said Snail. I was just imagining how good you would look up on my back. You mean I could ride you? asked the boy. Normally, only licensed snail operators can ride me, but if you were my owner... All right, said the boy. I'll be your owner. Great, said Snail. Hop on. You're now my official snail boy. So here he is, getting on Snail's back, and it says speeding fines doubled in this area. Pets allowed in store. And slowly, slowly, they made their way to the pet store. Together, they picked out a collar, food dishes, snail chow, and some toys. When they passed the hamster display, the boy told them all, the snail's mine. So there's the two for one hamster sale and it says, pick me, almost free, cheap, cheap. I don't want to eat much. And they're going by. As they left the store, it started to rain. We're gonna get wet, announced Snail Boy. Let's go inside my shell, said Snail. Snail ducked in first, and the boy followed. 
Because now he's jumped right inside Snail's shell. It's nice and cozy in here and really pink, said the boy. I'm glad you like it, said Snail. This could be our own private clubhouse, said the boy. They both thought this was an excellent idea. They talked for a long time about what they wanted to be when they grew up and what they were going to have for dinner. Then the rain stopped falling and they climbed out. So here they are inside his shell. That was fun, said Snail Boy. I'm really lucky you're my pet. Butchie! Snail replied with a word that sounded like a backwards hiccup. You just made a funny noise, laughed the Snail Boy. That's what snails say to each other when they're happy, said Snail. If you're happy now, said Snail Boy, just wait until you see my trampoline. And off they went. So we are going to make our own little snail today. So this snail was made by my son in his grade one class. And we're going to use it as our example of how to make a snail. So this is sort of our halfway here. So what we need is an oval for the snail's body and a circle for his shell. So you need a green piece of paper and then you draw your oval on there, kind of a flattened oval. And then on here, you're just gonna draw a spiral circle. So I've got one on in pencil. I'm not sure if you can see it fairly clearly, but it's just a spiraled circle. So we're going to cut those out. And there's our flattened oval there. And then here's our spiraled circle. So I'm just going to start on the outside edge and go around. We're going to just put our shell onto our snail's body. So we're going to use our glue. We're just going to glue the tip of the there we've attached him. And then we're going to give him an eye. So we've got some little package of googly eyes here. And we're going to Add that up at the front. So there's our main part of our snail. And then my son in his class used tissue paper and they glued each piece of tissue paper onto the snail in a pattern like the spiral of his shell. But today we're going to just use our craft bingo daubers. So we have, you can use your regular bingo daubers, but these are just craft ones that you can get in all different colors. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate my spiral on my snail. I'm gonna use lots of different colors. I'm gonna start on the inside. And I'm gonna just make him a sort of a rainbow colored spiral shell. going to keep dabbing those on. So you can see where I'm going with this. I'm just going to do the shell all the way to the outside. So I'll keep going with that. And kids love the bingo daubers so this would be a perfect way for them to do a craft with the bingo daubers. done. So of course kids are probably just going to do random patterns or whatever pattern they want. I'm 
there we go. So there is our two very different snails to go with our snail boy story.